my name is Lex Sharaklaji, Bishop Kenya Michael Loltome, speaking in Nairobi National Government, Mpakasi East Constituency, Mpakasi Ward Assembly, which is called Miongo, uh, here in Nairobi today. Today is a very doom day in Kenya uh, because uh, our president is now is under fire because we want to overthrow him, particularly me, myself, eh, and others too. And Bishop Kenya Michael Otome, uh, which have even overthrown him today, uh, okay, the president of Kenya, which is, you know, we can call him now the former, because he's no longer our president, that's none other than, uh, you know, uh, Dr. William Samuel Reto. He is no longer our president. You can see in the, the whole world is witnessing that today, Tuesday, on June 25th, 2024, uh, the, uh, even our parliament is uh, on fire, as I speak now here in Nairobi, national government, this afternoon. So uh, even, uh, you know, uh, there is a, a, a kind of a cops who have been uh, told to condone off state house and parliament buildings, but they are defeated to control the crown. You can see it here in the Star e newspaper today. Our soldiers are unable to control the crown, which are so angry because of uh, you know a controversial wage bill which is actually killing kenyans to deny them services basic services so i am uh, now united states of kenya then i professor prophet lecture clergy bishop kenya michael Otome, and my deputy president or vice president in none other than uh, kenya retired brigadier of kenya army uh, called his excellency uh, niko gubo uh, wanyonyi from bungoma is a Bukuso sub tribe of Luya, and also my powerful prime minister is none other than Kalonso Misioka, the former you know vice president of Kenya. They are helping me uh, also now to run the country, which is now is in, he will be in my uh, I will be sworn in any time from today 25th uh, by Honorable uh, you know uh, Mother Kome, the Chief Justice of Kenya Republic, without any delay, because we cannot stay to leave a power vacuum in the country. We are even told that the president has fled the country. I, I am not sure, but uh, it looks like uh, that's President uh, William Samuel Reto. Uh, so, uh, and the, the building, you can see in the whole world now, uh, our parliament, which is the lawmakers, building is now on fire. So, I'm also going to be deputized by my near future first lady, a priestess in nature, uh, Winnie Imkarela Molodinga, uh, Honorable. Honorable Winnie Mgarela Morodinga, because he's already a leader of East Africa Legislative Assembly Member of Parliament, representing Kenya among 12 countries of uh, East Africa community. He is going to be my first, uh, you know, lovely first lady to help me in, uh, in, the, in state house, a uh, kind of governance and the state governance also, because uh, the wife of the president is called a uh, priestess, uh, because I'm a priest in nature myself. So he's going to help me in uh, government affairs policies uh, very soon. So the, she's the youngest daughter of our uh, Supreme People's, uh, you know, power president. His Excellency Sir Dr. Raila Omolodinga, Engineer Sir Dr. Raila, His Excellency Raila, Sir, uh, Raila Omolo Odinga, who is now going to be, uh, you know, very soon, starting from the end of this man, to be uh, 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 Africa Union Commission Chairman, will be the head of state of 54 countries in the Africa continent. So today we want to read the book of James, which was written by the brother of Jesus Christ. And he told people uh, to submit to God, all right, and also to the authority, which is leading people properly. But this one now is not a legitimate government. It is illegitimate government. It's not a, leg it's not a legitimate government anymore of our former president, uh, dictator uh, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, which I have told him today, precisely, that June 25th, 2024, the year of our Lord today. He told people of that time, all right, uh, whoever knows what is right and he doesn't do is sinning. In uh, James chapter 4, verse 17, it says, uh, all right, very clearly here, all right, anyone then who knows the good he ought to do and doesn't do it, sins. If you know what is right and you don't do it, you are committing sin like our president. You know that it's very important to, uh, you know, to help us Kenyans, to give us social welfare for those who are uh, dying of hunger, to protect our sanctity of life, to protect our bill of rights of all sorts, all right, to help poor people who are unable to have an access to medical cares, to have uh, food, 
you know, and to have water, clean water environment and uh, sanitation. And also, you know, to help those who are unable to go to, you know, to school because of lack of fees. And also to, you know, to raise up the standard of our civil servant and political class unit leaders also as well, to pay them money, particularly, you know, public servants, which are now dying like even citizen without any money, where the government is actually trying to, you know, tax them, as well as poor Kenyans. So we don't want this government anymore. So that's why uh, the cops or the police are, uh, you know, manning the, the state house and parliament building. They are defeated to control the crowd today. And uh, now the building of, uh, you know, lawmakers, uh, the parliament, and also senate parliament of our house, they are now on fire, surely. You can see it on online. So remember today, I am uh, the new president of the United States of Kenya Republic for the seven county government, 290 constituencies, and 1,451 assemblies. United States of Kenya Republic, interindependent states, obvious for seven of them, we call them uh, county governments in 2010 constitution, with the 290 constituencies, members of parliament, among other many nominated, and senators also nominated and also, in, uh, you know, elected, plus also 1,450 words assemblies, members of parliaments in parliamentary regions, among these for seven federal states in the independence. I'm now the new president. And I know people will enjoy my my government, in which is based on Proverbs 29, past 2, that we have, whenever righteous people are on the throne, they will be people will be enjoying. So I am sure Kenyans now will no longer going to cry. So we have lost so far, up to that, this time now I'm speaking, we have lost about eight youths who have been actually uh, in that kind of protest today and it's con still continuing. So, uh, and we know uh, in any slaughterhouse, we cannot actually miss a split of blood. So uh, I just condolence uh, the, uh, the families who have lost their, yeah, you know, those youths, also and adults too. But let's remember that the few people will be remaining and also many because God is going to protect us will enjoy the government because in any kind of a, a coup, which is today is a better one because it's a very cool coup, we just want to demand our rights and we want the president to play out of the country to go together with his, you know, cronies or uh, closest friends and companions who are harming us and killing us economically because the stock market of Kenya Republic now is has started crashing down. There's no food. Even I'm speaking in Mbakazi village. We are burying people every day here and uh, in all 47 county government, 290 councils, and 1,452 assemblies because of lack of services. Not because of that, even uh, 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 national attrition. It is because of lack of services. No medication, no food, no water, no health care at all. Among other basic humanity necessities, and the sanctity of life is not also protected in that case. So this is a illegitimate government which is not supposed to be there. And we are not supposed to submit to this kind of government. We better fear God rather than this government, obviously. So I just say sorry for those people we have lost now so far this day. But, uh, you know, now if the president have not fled the country today, even tomorrow it will continue the whole week until he flee out of Kenya like a dictator Idi Amin, among other dictators uh, of Uganda and even side bar of, uh, you know, Somalia and Mangistu of Ethiopia, among many others, including even Robert Mugabe, which was also, uh, you know, patron in his own house, we want this one to go out of the Ke Kenya Republic, but this, mem you know, members of his pa members of his family members can remain under scrutiny in my government. We want to scrutinize them, but they will stay in their current home and Sugoi and whichever place they own. But particularly the family of the president, which we have I have told today, none other than Dr. William Samuel Ruto is no longer now our president. The whole world will concur with me. I am now the new president speaking at this moment in Kenya, which is today, June 25th, at around actually now 3 and 19 minutes p.m. I am now the Kenya president. Beyond reasonable doubt, Professor Lecturer Bishop Kenya Michael Otome from uh, Samburu uh, is Maasai subgroup, eh? all right, which is believed to be either from, uh, you know, Israel, an Israelite kind of background and Rendile, but my mom is a Samburu community, the daughter of Lemosa from Sam Samburu County, but I'm from Marsabit County, Mukunduya, Kenya, near the border of Kenya and Ethiopia, which are bordering also Somali uh, control state of, you know, Wajir in the eastern side. That is me. 
my background is disputed, uh, but my mom is from Samburu, you know, community. But me, myself, I either belong to an Israelite kind of background or a heritage background. But that's not a big issue. I have now overthrown this government online. I have not reached to touch uh, our president, which is now no longer our president, Dr. William Samuel Ruto. I have not touched him anyway. But on online, I have overthrown him completely to awaken Kenyans or to be to be awake to see the atrocities leveled against them by this ruthless government of our president. That is my word today. Otherwise, may God bless you and I thank also our Kenya police and all the security sectors for not having, you know, of course, a lot of mass, uh, you know, deaths. But the few who are dead, who are dead, we are sorry for those families. And I'm sure in my government we are going to compensate all those bloodshed. Eh? which this, uh, the, the, uh, you know, dictatorial kind of regime has, uh, you know, deprived their, you know, sanctity of life when they are actually demanding their right, the Bill of Rights, to have a better government, which is not there at all. So in any slaughterhouse, we cannot miss the split of blood. So uh, that's normal. And uh, even when Kenya, you know, British country uh, government left us in 1963, we have lost two people, one from... Uh, Isiolo County government and Meru County government, the spirit of blood it must be there. So uh, we we uh, in, in all with all due respect and Christ sympathy kind of a uh, you know uh, sympathy. I'm sorry and I give condolences to the families we have lost the young ones and also the youths and the adults because these are eight people we have lost are not only youths and from all you know all the genders. We are going to compensate in my government very soon when I will take an oath of office which I will be administered by the Chief Justice, Honorable Mother Kome, very soon. There's no doubt. We already soon about out. And then may God bless you, human, human being living in Kenya, regardless of your race, tribe, color, and gender nationalities, living in Kenya, just relax and be calm, because now this government is no longer there. I am now going to be sworn in as the sixth president of Kenya Republic, none other than Professor Lecturer, Prophet in nature, which have prophesied me, Myself to be president of Miami now today, Bishop Kenya Michael Thomas, certain man, Bishop Kenya Michael Thomas. I'm going not to harm anybody in my government, and we are going to enjoy this government very soon. Otherwise, may God bless you and my being living in Kenya and beyond. Amen.